Hey folks, it's the Siggy. Welcome to my latest video. I'm going to be talking about um, base breach events. Um, every now and again, you'll notice over on the right hand side of your screen here, you've got this events tab. This is just a, a relatively quick walkthrough of um, how things work. Um, there are some reasonable rewards um, quite often with this. Just to take a, a look at it a little bit further on this particular one. Um, you've got a couple of days to do this event. Um, and the idea is, is to beat different enemies at different levels. And you can see here you've got some uh, UK 5S Guardians as level one. We start to go down, we've got uh, power keys, or we've got keys for um, chests. Down to enemy four, you've got 25 gold stars, and so on and so forth. Down to this one, the top one is 100 gold stars, and a Jade Atlas. Um, in addition, factions are rewarded. Um, each player... Um, is rewarded the same as on a, a global conquest event once you've scored over a certain amount I believe but um, that's the the faction page we'll look at that a little bit later okay let's just go back to this <clears throat> when you click on attack um, the first option you've got is to equip your commander or the main option you've got is to click your um, equip commander you can also go into event shop. That's what it means. Um, I'm going a long way around about on this. So on event shop, you've got two characters that you can use. You can use Sergeant Molotov or Agent Storm. Now they're both slightly different. Um, if you see these areas just here, um, they start off Sergeant Molotov. He, he can have a... Um, Units, oh, bloody hell, forgetting my words. It can have units um, and one power-up at the first level. Once you've took your character up, which is called training in, um, in the game's eyes, you can unlock more slots. Sergeant Molotov's extra slots are um, <coughs> power-ups. When you go on to Agent Storm, her unlocks as you can see, are an additional unit, or additional units, again, and then finally you get um, one extra power-up once they're at level 10. Something else to note on these is each of these um, slots give a, a particular bonus, either a defensive or an uh, attacking bonus. Again, you can see as you unlock, this bonus gets higher. So whether you shift things around like I tend to do, or you wait to unlock certain items in a certain area, it's entirely up to you. Me personally, I've used both. I prefer using Sergeant Molotov. I think the game is, or the events are easier with power-ups and power-ups seem to work really well for me. Um, one thing to know, although I'll not take you through all the levels that I'm going to do, um, is once you get down to level 10, you've got 150% of any attack bonus on a power-up. Uh, you know what? It makes life so much easier. Anyway, enough of that gas. Um, when you click on the information tab, the information from Game Loft is sparse, really. Equip and train commanders to increase your power. Tells you what to do. And that's it. And then it's got a, a slide thing here. There's nothing else you can click on. It's a little bit unfinished. There we go. There's a shame. Oh, there's a change. Okay, the way I'm going to commit my commit, 
equip my um, Sergeant Molotov. The units, um, you've got various units that are available for either coins, for hearts, um, thorium, and typically stars. Do bear in mind that each one of these units will die down as you use it, so you're, you're replacing it. If you're going to go down the star route, you're going to need a fair few. The default slot is a 10% increase on your attacking um, strength. Now, the highest attack strength that I've seen on here is... Um, let's have a quick look. It's not, that's not the highest, I don't think. 265, let me just check. Yeah, I think it's the highest as well. Yeah, basically... These units are very samey. I have plenty of thorium, so for me, replacing these units is no big deal. Um, what I will do is I commit myself to the full use of these 25, 12,500 thorium. Now, when it comes to defensive units, that same unit, the War Demolisher 3, again, in my eyes, is equally good because it's got its attacking strength as well. I don't know. The best one is the Fortress on purely defensive, but I'm going to use them because I get a bit of, bit of a bonus of 10% on that 315 um, in this slot anyway. My call. It's up to you what you do. Another 12,500. Now, our power-ups, you've got um, four power-ups that start at bronze, um, silver, and you've got gold ones that you can spend good old uh, stars. Me, I use hearts. Um, I think the most handy one out of the four, initially for me, is the EMP. The, the battles are easy. What does happen is once I've bought these and committed and you carry on on the different levels... You can sell these or unequip. Yeah, you're losing money, but you can replace it with something that's better that you've already unlocked. It'll become apparent. Look, if I sell it, I get 163 hearts. No, I'm not going to sell it. I've just set these up. Okay, so we've equipped our, uh, our Sergeant Molotov. We can't look at the faction leaderboard yet because we've not scored any points yet. We'll go back on there. As you look down the base on here, you've got a different set of uh, scrolling uh, icons. Now, these are the battles that you'll actually face. At each checkpoint, and incidentally, if you lose a battle, as it says at the top, you go back just to the last checkpoint. No big deal. If you click on it, it shows you at checkpoint one, this is what you'll get as your reward. As you go further on, you can see... War Devastators, you know, a cracking piece of kit, although I just wasted mine in my last faction war. Let me breach. Bad breach, there we go, it happens. Um, and so on and so forth. This is an enemy power, power one. As you've leveled up, the enemy's leveled up, and the rewards increase, as we said, up to that 100 gold stars. Okay, um, on the attack, there are different ways of doing it. This is my way. If you've got a better way, share it in the comments. But click on fight, and you're given an option now to use these units that you've just bought. Now, just taking a quick look at the board, it's like a very watered down... Um, it's like a, a, a very watered down uh, faction, faction war. I say watered down in so much that it's just so easy and the defense is so simple. What I'll do is I'll just deploy a handful of each. You've got 150 points to use each one of these units. This is what I could have said in the first place when you're actually looking to deploy your units. You can't put unlimited units. Obviously, you've got a maximum there of 25 in each, but it really does depend how much space 
um, you've got left on this number. So let me just put five of them on there, seven of them, and click onto my EMPs here. Now these EMPs last six seconds, so I'm just going to go around a little bit slow there and just prevent these, hopefully, from doing too much damage. There we go. Now at the end of each round, as the control center uh, ended, at the end of each round, it will give you the information of what you've actually uh, won, how much it's going to cost you to refill it all, and give you the choice to either retreat um, or just carry on to your next level. So just taking a look on there, we've got coins, hearts, and um, a little bit more experience there. The inventory, this is what I used. I used six of my EMPs. Um, these units, because they didn't die, I don't have to replace anything. But if this number had gone down, you'd um, be buying them as well. So, and it's one click. It's dead easy. So refill all. And as I say, you can either retreat or we can go on to the next level. I'm going to take this one on to the next level. And it does say now we've got um, enemy base one out of two. So we'll click this, see where we go. We've got a slightly larger board. A little bit more attack, a little, a few more items, but nothing too much of a worry. I'm going to keep this as about seven and seven. Well, I've done eight. Double click. I'm going to just drop a couple of EMPs there because I've got them. And remember, keeping an eye on this counter over on the top left-hand side. As you take units out, it will increase. As you're using... EMPs and units or power-ups and units it will decrease and that's it we're about done there looks like we didn't lose any units he did he lost one um, and the replacement cost there 500 thorium so we're going to refill that and then take it to the next stage or again, as I say, we can retreat. Gives the warning. If you quit now, it's just the last KRA checkpoint. Click OK on there. And it says we've just got our first checkpoint one reward because we've defeated enemy at power one. As you look on this board, that's going to be our next battles. That's our next rewards. OK, folks. There's a quick introduction to the uh, base breach events. Thanks for watching. You've been watching The Siggy.